Hello and welcome back everyone. I'm Wolf here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. Playing as the Sith Warrior Curse here on the Smuggler's Moon of Nar Shaddaa once again. And we've gained access to... Network Access. We have been challenged by Lord Rafari to meet him at, on one of the rooftops here in this sector. And have a duel. He's finally agreed to uh, challenge us directly after... We've interrupted his air. Uh, what he's been up to here on Nar Shaddaa on behalf of the Dark Council. Before we go have that duel though, we've been requested to give assistance to a Major Damaris here. So uh, let's see how we can help. stable. A moment, if you please, my lord. Major Damaris, Ministry of War. Your skills are needed for a mission of great urgency. What's this got to do with that hut? My associate, Kabura the Hut. His cartel operates the Network Access District, the central hub for the entire galactic holonet. This is a major threat to Imperial security. Breaching the hut's defenses and assuming this level of control should have been impossible. We need you to investigate. Immediately. All you want me to do is investigate? No. If it is within your power, you will also eliminate this threat as quickly as possible. Your skills make you uniquely suited to deal with this. The main data center is almost impenetrable. A series of well-guarded consoles is spread throughout network access, each with its own time-sensitive code. Get all the codes, then hurry to the data center. Once you reach the data center access terminal with all of the timed codes, we'll contact you with further instructions. Is that clear? You're giving me orders. Hmm. Do I want to help you? You do know you're speaking to a Sith. Find someone else to boss around, Major. I'm leaving. The Minister of War will not be pleased at your refusal. So be it. <laughs> Would you care to repeat that? Hmm. You know... No, I'm actually not going to do it. I know the quest. Uh, well, I've done it quite a few times, but... I'm just going to stick to my guns. Some Imperials need to um, show the proper, proper deference to a Sith. Like, to be fair, I'm still only an apprentice, but at the same time, I think some of them have got a bit, um... Got their heads are a bit too big. That also being said, Curse is also them being extremely arrogant. I understand that. But, ah, uh, he's kind of entitled to be. Normally, you'd have to fight your way through quite a few droids, and find a singular individual. Wait, what? Huh. That's weird. Yeah, one individual, I forgot what his name is, but he is broken in because he wants to understand or gain knowledge of everything that's going on in the galaxy and in network access, gaining control of the entire holonet is the ideal place to do so and he asks you to spare his life and if so he will give you access to his information network which as an imperial agent maybe even a bounty hunter it's a pretty good deal but since we are neither of those and hello goodbye
have you covered. <laughs> they didn't fall to their death like I hoped they would. But, oh well. Yeah, instead we're just going to have our honor duel. Oh, hi. Oh, you have more apprentices. Do you really now? Um, Quinn, you just go on follow for me. I have you covered? That's right. Just go passive. In f mm, no, we'll keep you with us. Lord Rathari, I presume. Finally, we come face to face. Ah, you showed. You lack your master's caution. I applaud that. Delacon, Barris's lackey is here. So, say your piece, and do it before I kill this would-be assassin. Barris is insane and paranoid. I was a faithful servant, and my cover was intact. Did he expect me to accept being murdered for reassurance? Just wait for death? You will die in agony. Delacon and everything he knows of your master's operations are mine now. In a hundred years, when I am legendary within the Sith, your and Barriss's deaths at my hands will not even be a footnote. However, I would never lower myself to duel a mere apprentice such as you. You haven't earned the honor. A Sith Lord should be a man of his word. So naive. Lies and deception are important weapons in every Sith's arsenal. These men are my elite guard, trained to take on Sith. Half of them could kill you, but I don't like to play favorites. Your men are going to be a little busy with my men. That's the signal, men! Let's go! I see now. I've underestimated your resourcefulness. Men, make quick work of these Republic fools. Attack! yield. Never have I witnessed such raw power. The day and the planet are yours. I freely pass the scepter. The threat Delacon posed to you and your master has died with him. I hope it ingratiates me in some way. I was looking forward to doing that myself. You are above such trifling tasks. Let others like myself do such deeds for you. It's clear to me now. Someday you will rise above your master. It is you, not I, who will be Darth Barriss's end. Grant me mercy, so I may live to see it. Honor me with some small hand in it. Oh.
Interesting. Uh, I was hoping this would be an honor duel, and you had your own men interfere. It was anticipated, though. You know what? Let's have chance decide. One to ten, you die. Eleven to twenty, you swear yourself to me. And that's a twelve. You live. I make you my minion to be called into service when I see fit. Yes. I shall wait with patience for your summons. I leave you to your business, my lord. Remember, I am at your disposal whenever you may seek to topple Barras. From here on, that is your only interest in the galaxy. You have siphoned all other ambition from me. All right, Sith. Now no one's left but you and me and my men. Your objective has been met. May we go. You had better be right. All right, men. You heard the Sith. Let's get back to our neck of the woods. It will be good to get back to the ship and leave this planet. I think you have an eye for our little Twi'lek back at the ship. I'm not going to dignify that with a response. Whenever you're ready to return to the ship, I'll prepare it for flight. <laughs> Oh well. Was it a good idea to let the Republic soldiers go? That may have been a mistake on my part. In addition to letting Lord Rafari leave. Of course, hmm, I'm not sure. I may have handled that all wrong, but what's done is done, and I will accept my decision. Darth Barris may disagree. If he discovers that Lord Rafari is still alive. But to be fair, if he doesn't discover it, then Rafari, Rafari might be a useful uh, tool in my arsenal. If and when we ever get the opportunity to... Uh, strike at our master and ascend ourselves. Didn't lose you. You've been patched up. And let's get back on board the Fury, and we can get ourselves away. actually use the mission console now. Hmm. Unfortunately, well, fortunately I suppose we'll never need to touch it until we've actually finished the Sith Warrior story arcs. But it's there now. Waiting. You have done well, my apprentice. Delacon eliminated and Lord Rathari dispelled. This will be a day long remembered. The loss of Haladron Sitson is unfortunate, but the ends far justify the means. She served you honorably, Master. I had a soft spot for her as well. You have successfully eliminated both of my compromised agents. 
The time has come to set our sights on Newman Carr and his gifted Padawan. It seems our adversary is of like mind. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Newman Carr has been busy. Enlighten me, Master. It appears your ship is being tracked. A very sophisticated sensor is reporting your every movement. I've traced the signal to a spaceport in a sector not far from you. I'm sure Noman Carr is involved. Send me to this spaceport. Perhaps Carr is there, and I can end this. Noman Carr is a master of the Jedi arts. Do not take him lightly. I've sent the coordinates to your mainframe. Head there immediately, dock with the station, and make a lasting impression. And our time here in Narshida is at an end. Ooh, we can choose a new lightsaber. Not that we're ever going to use it, but we can choose a new lightsaber. Okay, uh, we need to go to the orbital monitoring station. That's fine, we have a few things to sell. We'll break this video here and now. We will want to do another interlude flashpoint video. Well, end of a flashpoint, which will be a video unto itself. But before that, we will investigate this tracking station. I wonder when and how they put this tracking device on us, and how long it's been there. But I suppose we'll investigate and see if Norman Carr is behind it next time. This has been Anfall for Star Wars The Old Republic. I hope you've all enjoyed and hope you all take care. And I'll see you for the next video in the series. Until then, though, bye-bye now.